what is up everybody welcome back to another video today we are talking about plasma 6.1 beta which we're trying on endeavor os right now because well the kde unstable repo has 6.1 in it don't test it if you don't want to test it you don't have to test it there's nothing really here to upgrade to yet it's really buggy and you know we're just going to go over the major changes so far okay now the first one being right click here is the edit mode is pretty much changed so if i clicked here you'll notice the settings comes down over here and we now can see add spacer at widget like everything is out in the open and it looks organized for once uh it's like someone decided to take a design class and uh realize that what they had before was just not okay but i'm glad that they fixed it good job developers on that moving on to the next thing is in display and monitor you can see the color profile is now none or icc profile or built in which is pretty cool and what else is sound working yet it's still not working the keyboard section has been completely rewritten in qml and on to the other stuff triple buffering in kwin for smoother rendering and animations nothing is really smoother unfortunately it still feels like it always did you know trying to be smooth but it just doesn't end up getting there support for the wayland explicit sync protocol which should improve life for nvidia users which it does by the way support for the input capture portal now, I'm not 100% sure what that means, but that might mean that we can have keybinds. I need to fully test that out some other time. Uh, they've added remote desktop system integration. So in other words, copying GNOME to allow RDP clients to connect to Plasma Desktop, plus a new page and system settings for configuring this. But my main problem is, is it in here? No. Um, where is it? Is it in activities? No. See, this is the main problem when it comes to the whole UI uh, of Plasma is that um, where is anything, right? Where is anything? Because we've had, I've had many, many, many people in my comments when it's a GNOME video or anything else pretty much tell me the reason they don't like KDE is because of the settings menu. It's just... It's messy, it's overwhelming, it's unprofessional. Hell, it goes against the design laws of physics. It's just all over the place, and I can't find anything. So I'm unable to show you that new menu. I'm sorry. And I just showed you the new UX for Plasma Edit Mode. So there's now an added configurable edge burial between screens to make it easier to hit UI elements touching the edges between screens. This allows... This also allows auto hide panels on edges, which is really good because I guess people wanted that. Fake session restore on Wayland that at least reopens apps that were open last time, even if they don't get positioned in the same place. I mean, that's cool. Support for real session restore is still being worked on. So another half-assed measure, got it, all right. Support for syncing the color of your keyboard's RGB backlight with plasma accent colors. Here's the weird part, and it's it's a weird part. All right, I'm gonna go to home, more appearance settings, colors. Now the main issue is we're in accent colors, but uh, there's wallpaper, there's color scheme, there's custom. I I can't find it anywhere at all. It just does not exist unless I'm looking somewhere. Do I need to get new? Uh, what do we need to do? Do I need to right click, left click? What do we do, right? I mean, there's a color scheme, wallpaper, and custom. Could I just right click with custom? Do I click here? How are we supposed to sync this stuff, you know? See, with GNOME, they it would just literally be right there in settings and you click a button, it's done. With Plasma, there's probably some inconvenient way to get it done. <sighs> Plasma would be the most useful and most used desktop there is if it just learned how to organize its ui elements it is more inconsistent than windows in this subject 
because at least when you go into Windows, you can find everything. Not only that, but they have a specific setting for dealing with the RGB on your keyboard, your mouse, your desktop, everything. So, uh, yeah, it's not Windows thing. Now, I've already showed you the color profile thing. Uh, there's a new battery option for Lenovo Ideal Pads and Legion laptops. Uh, conservation. I said it right. So that's pretty good. And there's also a new option that you can middle click and sleep and screen locking and unlocking. So you can block sleep from happening. So when you're playing games, you don't have to worry about your computer falling asleep, even though it should count controller inputs or even mouse inputs or anything else, or even watching a movie uh, as, you know, activity and it's silly that it doesn't and that goes for all desktop environments so they've made slightly more rounded corners as you can see it actually looks a lot better uh the ones in the bottom are not as rounded as we'd like them to be but hopefully they'll add a setting that allows us to add complete rounded corners that would be great so i need to open up some windows for this one and boom as you can see uh the overview looks a lot cleaner and neater because better window layout algorithm for overview. This is overview. Oh, they also ripped off Mac OS. So now when you shake the mouse, you can find it. Good job on that one. New off by default effect to hide the mouse pointer after a period of inactivity. That's pretty cool, but I'm glad it's off by default. And I already told you that the keyboard page has been rewritten in QML. <sighs> so once again, you don't have to go and install this. If you don't want to, if you want to be a tester and actually give feedback and report bugs and all that other stuff, then feel free. It's in the KD on stable repo on Arch Linux, and that's why I recommend testing it if you're going to test it. But once again, you know, this could be unstable. It is, and it could have lots of bugs. I mean, it's KDE. It literally is in bug incarnate, and it could crash and have other issues and just freeze for no reason. So be wary of that, you know. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm doing the best I can on a laptop, so uh, I hope the microphone audio was good, and I'll see you in the next video.